American privilege is blurring my vision. Inherited sickness. I the other day I received a question which I felt was really pretty good and needed to be answered. The person asked, why did the Jews have Jesus executed? They went on to say, I had been taught that Jesus claimed to be God, and so that's why they had him killed. Is this true or not, and does the Bible have anything to say specifically about this? Well, the Bible does, in fact, have a very clear record in all of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that records exactly why the Jewish leadership had Jesus killed. Let's go to Matthew chapter 26. And I believe that this is a very thorough record. As you're turning to Matthew 26, though, I want to explain that for as long as four months prior to Jesus' arrest, the Jews had been specifically approaching him, the leadership, and saying, Who are you? Who do you claim to be? In fact, in John chapter 10, verse 24 is recorded. It says, The Jews gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us. The question was, if you are the Christ, meaning the anointed one, the one we're waiting for, the Messiah, the promised one of God, then tell us. They weren't asking him, are you God? I believe because that had never ever even entered into their minds. They were looking for a coming Messiah and they wanted to know, are you the one? That's why when we go to Matthew 26, when Jesus is arrested, the, uh, the questioning of him by the high priest before the Sanhedrin is very specific and it's poised, it posed in a very tactical formula. In fact, the high priest charges him before God to answer. In Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1, there's a formula which says that any person who is questioned in this way or with this formula is required to answer. That's why the high priest is answering or is asking in a very specific way. Let's read this in Matthew 26, 63. It says, I, the high priest, charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ the Son of God. See, there's very clearly what they were asking him. And as a result of the formula that the high priest employed in questioning Jesus, he was required to answer. If he didn't answer, then his silence was uh, considered admission. And, the, and that's why uh, knowing that if he answers this, basically they're going to kill him. The reason is because it recorded in John chapter 19, verse 7, it says, The Jews insisted, we have a law, and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the Son of God. See, the Jews had a law that if anyone claimed to be the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Son of God, then they would execute him on the grounds of blasphemy. So, that's why when the high priest poised, posed that question to him in the way in which he did, Jesus responds and says, yes, it is as you say. It's an oriental or an eastern way of basically saying, yep, I am. It's true. And as soon as he heard that, the high priest declared, this is blasphemy, and the rest of the assembly called for his death. Not because God had a law that the, the Christ or the Son of God, anyone who claimed it had to be put to death, but they had a law that claimed that. That's why in Matthew 26, verse 50, 65 and 66, it says, Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death, they answered. 
This whole line of questioning and also his response in the affirmative being that he is the Christ, the anointed one, is confirmed in the record in which he's brought before Pilate. Mark chapter 15, verses 12 and 13, he's standing before Pilate, and Pilate asks him, What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asks the crowd, What should I do? You're calling him the king of the Jews. The king of the Jews was a very specific phrase referring to the coming Christ, the Messiah. They didn't, they didn't accuse him of being God. They accused him of being the Son of God, and that is the question that he answered, yes, it is as you say. In fact, many times nowadays, people have asked me, well, who do you say Jesus is? My best response is to answer it the exact same way that Jesus answered it. He's the Son of God. That's who he claimed to be. That's who he said he was. The Jews knew, according to their Old Testament uh, prophecies, that there would come a Messiah, the Anointed One, the, 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 the one that would be their King, their Redeemer, and he would be the Son of God. The Jews didn't believe Jesus, and that's why they had him killed. They rejected him as their Christ, they rejected him as the Messiah. They rejected him as the king.